That'll be the tailwind. Good morning. Welcome to another ultra cycling related video. If you watched any previous ones, thanks for coming back. If this is your first one, I'm Andy. I'm an ultra cyclist on the south coast of the UK. The videos I make at the moment are about my training going into the 24 season. So if you have endurance goals of your own, subscribe, follow along. I'm sure there'll be some useful nuggets for you. So on the cards for today, I've got a century ride around the New Forest, out from Portsmouth, past Southampton, and a loop of the beautiful New Forest. If you haven't been here before, if you're anywhere along the South Coast, make the trip over. It's stunning. The roads are fast, and if you like ponies and donkeys, you better strap yourself in buddy.
you were one of those that watched the last few videos, thanks a lot. It can't be that much fun watching someone get drenched every weekend. But hopefully there's some useful stuff in there. Thankfully today, no rain, bit of a stiff headwind. But by the point on the loop now, I've turned around, heading home, should be a tailwind all the way back. And this, for middle of December in the UK, is really good. It's about plus 10 degrees. Got my, got my summer gloves on, take my word for it, I'm climbing at the moment. Middle of December would usually be absolutely freezing here, especially in the New Forest. Those who've watched previously will know the training plan I'm following at the moment is four week plan times two to finish just before Christmas. The first four week block went really well and I managed about an 8% increase in my FTP from 270 up to 294. This ride today is my last workout of the second four week block and it's feeling pretty good. So the plan now Squeeze everything out on this ride, leave it all out there pretty much, have a rest week, and then just before Christmas, I'll test once more, see where I end up. I never really had a goal for this block other than just to get as much from it as possible. So, let's see, but secretly deep down, if I break 300, I'll be really happy with that. 294 to 300, should be doable. In terms of these videos, I hope people are enjoying them. It's a bit of a fake it till you make it scenario. Never done this before. This will be my, I think my 10th video ever. Really enjoy making them. That also includes the three I did just for PBP. So still trying to find my voice, really. Learn a bit of the style and see what works, but mostly just make what I enjoy. If you are enjoying them, getting anything from it at all then think about giving us a like subscribe I'm not gonna beg every single video but at this point 10 or so videos in will make a really big difference I really appreciate it attention really is just carry on doing more of this in the summertime there'll be far more opportunity to do longer rides in the Sun a bit more cheery more along the lines of actual ultra distance usually in the summer I'll be doing more like 150 200 mile weekend rides a century or so on the, in the winter makes most sense really the amount of daylight we get here in England also makes a lot of sense in terms of managing fatigue trying to get stronger on those sessions in the week doing ultra distance on the weekends is not really feasible to still get stronger and perform on the turbo be the tailwind nice quick ride home now but first cake Apparently, a herd of cows. It's honestly like a safari out here. A pretty crap safari, but still.
good cafe stop. It's about halfway around the loop in a village called Burley, the Schappen Cafe. It's the best one. I ride this loop probably every two or three months. It's a brilliant loop. I stole it from uh, Wiggle Sportive years ago when they used to run Sportives. If you fancy riding this loop, I'll put a link to it in the description. It's a pretty interesting place. The New Forest is huge. All the way around, there's ponies and donkeys on the side of the road. I believe they're all privately owned and cared for. They're not wild. Still, I wouldn't get too friendly with them. forest never fails to deliver. But about 80 miles now, about 20 to go to get home, so I'll probably spare you this for 20 miles. It's a really good ride. I try to keep these to around 150 beats per minute, so I'm ready for my workouts in the week, but heading into a rest week now, so I was up in the 170s quite a bit, pushed on, had a pretty good time. So if you want to ride this route, it's in the description. It's a great ride. Anyway, have a good week. Nice productive week. Go buy some Christmas presents. If you're anything like me, you haven't got any yet. Better get to work. Might not be the rest week I thought it would be. But <laughs> take it easy. See you on the road.